Morgan off play action for the end zone. Caught by Spanford for the touchdown. We'll watch this. Okay, so his first read, he's going to take the ball and he's going to attack the line of scrimmage. Once he's got, and that's all going to be field. And then his second read goes to this guy. And that's going to be to see how far he can get off right here. See how his eyes are up? As soon as he saw the release, the ball was right where it had to be, and it's six points. Go make a play on the ball and be more aggressive going after it. His first career interception as Tanner Morgan finds Brevin Span forward for his second career catch. Bit of a surprise. They left 11 seconds on the play clock. Back to the end zone, the tight end. Brevin Span forward, touchdown in Minnesota. The quick little play action pass, and you're going to get Span forward to go right up the gut. Doesn't really sell like he's going to run block. Just goes right up the seat. Morgan pulls it out, fires far side. He's got his receiver, span forward, and he stumbles forward, thrown out of bounds. He's moving and grooving. You got confusion here on the outside. Watch the young Buckeye secondary. They leave wide open, wide open over there. Span forward. All right, Jenny, thank you. Second and nine to the 23. Cam Wiley in the backfield. Tanner Morgan looks, fires over the middle, and it's caught for first down. Tanner Morgan goes through his reads. Over the middle. He's got a man. Nice. At the 25. Going to the air once again. And that'll be Brevin Span for the tight end. That. If he can't come back in the... A big loss. Morgan rolls. He flips it to Brevin Span for the tight end. First down and then some like a track star hurtling his way down the sideline on his fifth catch of 2021. He's going to clear everybody out and come back with almost a naked and find him pre-snap of multiple blockers available. He's at the top of your screen and trying to get to Morgan and drops it down to Brevin Span for Marvin Grant stops him short of the first down. Seven offensive linemen. Kramer's going to throw it. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown. Brennan Span forward the tight end. We said earlier on the drive when he does throw it, Span forward is the guy they look to. Markel dispute was the safety. Defense. A tight end that's really is an undersized offensive lineman as well. Well, in that first half, Minnesota had the football 21 minutes. They're second in the Big Ten, six nationally. And it comes a time of possession, and that's complete to Brevin Span four. I mean, let's it's, party like it's, it's a, 1985 or it's something. It's a work in progress, Fantastic. shall we say. Morgan play action, a lot happening on this play, and a first down as well. The pitch and the catch of the tight end, Span Ford. All right, Tanner Morgan back on the field. Kelly Stoffer, Roy Philpon in the booth. Lauren Sisler on the sideline. Minnesota looking for some big plays on first down. Pitch, catch. Span Ford picks up a first down. Halfway point. You see the shallow crosser there for a moment. Tight end grabs it on the next play. Ninth play of the drive. Morgan all day. Wide open first down. Brevin Span Ford again. 17 more yards. The safety spun from a single high to split safety, and that safety ran out of the way. Derek LeCaptain comes in at running back, but this is a throw. It's over the middle. He needed to get to the nine, and he's short is Brevin Span Ford. Second and ten now. Gophers knocking on the red zone door. Morgan with a quick hitter to his tight end, Brevin Span Ford. Ottman Bell, the motion wide receiver, after a pump, designed tight end screen, Brevin Span Ford inside the five yard line and tackled by Noah Pierre. Jay, I think you're going to be right. I don't think Indiana will get the ball back before halftime if Minnesota has its way. Morgan airs it out, and the tight end, Brevin Span Ford, completely forgotten in the 110 hurdles. He motors his way to the five yard line. Strip. But nobody around at all. Two blown coverages this drive. 
for this Hoosier D uncharacteristic for you got 10 yards plus here it's tough over the middle inside screen to span Ford and he gets it down to the 10 autumn bell number seven the wide receiver bottom of the nice screen guy. it's wide open inside the 10 span Ford it is down at the two all six seven of them 270 pounds watch 88 slip out here does a wonderful job of influence and blocking you've got to be able to see that guy coming out on the edge it doesn't matter who you are his defense he can count on he's got such confidence in them and why not this pass is caught it's Brevin Span Ford Span Ford has it inside the 40 to the 37 it kind of reminds me of Nebraska's big tight end Allen you know he's 6'7 Tim it's a big guy you just can't pull him down with one that's the reason why after he catches this ball goes and blows it grabs it low and conversation then discussions not lectures right exactly Morgan stepping up throwing on the move and wide open and caught and turning and heading up field first down and goal to go after the catch and run Let those guys who just find that little burst when they need it, it looks like he's a here's a throw by Morgan and Revan spam for the big target at tight end Morgan was so efficient in the opening half, finds Brevin Spanford barreling his way ahead at six foot seven, 270 for a first down. Jordan Howden, Tyler Newbin, how about the, the new additions as well? Beanie Bishop has been excellent today. Depth, man, they got depth. Ryan Stapp, now the offense is back out. More slants, working at the tight end, Brevin Spanford. <laughs> Kurt Scirocco has a wealth of assets to work with throughout the season. Morgan rolls. Morgan fires an open Brevin Spanford down the sideline and into the end zone. <laughs> Led all Minnesota tight ends in receiving yards a season ago. Here he is with a touchdown catch. One play, one first down. As you referenced, they've dominated the time of possession at over 40 minutes a game. And to his tight end, Brevin Spanford, the redshirt senior out of St. Cloud, Minnesota. That's caught by the tight end. Morgan checks to the sideline. Play clock down to two seconds. All day to throw it downfield, and it's caught again by Span Ford. I think the forward progress will get him the first down. Tanner Morgan over the middle, caught Span Ford, the tight end, first and goal, Gophers. Again with a clean pocket, and Morgan delivers a perfect ball to Brevin Span for the tight end for a gain of 17. And out of the gun, here's Tanner Morgan. There's Span Ford again. Morgan throws downfield for his tight end. He's got Span Ford. Inside the 15 yard line, the six foot seven, any other golden gopher in the pass game. Great job by Tanner Morgan manipulating the pocket. He has pressure in his face, but he does a great job. And I ultimately think Minnesota's offense is okay airing it out with Tanner Morgan. It's going to put more stress on the offensive line, but Tanner is a darn good quarterback. They'll set up the screen. It's the tight end span forward. And he pretzels inside the 35-yard line. A pickup of 20. A lot. Official start. And for obvious reasons, not only is he a big target, but he's got soft hands. He catches everything that comes his way. He's a seasoned route runner. He looks very smooth on the field. How about Ibrahim? Already eight yards away from yet another 100-yard effort. We still have almost 10 minutes left in the half. Morgan. There is the tight end, Brevin Span Ford, and another flag comes in. He's almost like an NBA player, right? 6'7, 270. He's got the long arms, and look at this. This ball is way, way up there, and Span Ford goes up almost like he's coming down with the rebound. And they do keep him in. They flip it to Span Ford, and he has enough. He got clipped 
but he stayed on his feet and picks up the first down. Ethan County McManus in for the injured Tanner Morgan, and that pass over the middle caught, and Spam Ford is dropped. So he tries to pilot a late drive here. And that one out to the 39. Cali McManus. And there it is, and it's a good one. Complete for a first down to Brevin Span Ford, the six foot seven tight end. Bert Scirocco, who was the offensive coordinator for Penn State in 2020. And go underneath to Span Ford, and look at the athleticism of Span Ford. Aliak Manis, as they will get it to the big tight end who goes high hurdling. Brevin Span Ford showing that athleticism that everybody raves about. How about the hurdle? 270 going up and over the top of Jair Brown. Trying to set the Minnesota career touchdown record. They get the touchdown with Span Ford. Kaliak Manis, touchdown pass to Brevin Span Ford. Kaliak Manis, there's two unblocked guys off the right hand side, and he just buys a little time. Buys, 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 drifts, and delivers. Back inside Rutgers territory on first and 10. He picks up a block this time. Brevin Span for open and jumps over a man. Throw because he had the secondary guy coming a little bit later and Powell. And he was able to find that Span. On second and 11, Morgan throws caught at the 45. Span Ford has about three, make it five. Scarlet Knights to try to bring him down. They do. Ibrahim split wide. Kaliak Manis hit. He's got his tight end. Span Ford. A gain of nine to the 39 for Brevin Span Ford. We got a couple of great running backs in this conference, to say the least. Kaliak Manis out to the outside. It's one of his favorite targets. That's the tight end, Span Ford. Span Ford got drilled. Play action. And the tight end, Span Ford, comes up with a catch. Gain of two on play number one, so second down and eight. Elliot Manis, that pass is caught by Span Ford, as we mentioned. Nice. Span Ford again. Well, he's had a couple of catches now. And Brian, I think in this game, He's going to touch it 35 plus. And their first pass is complete to Brevin Span Ford, the tight end. And still on his feet, drives the Powell past the first down marker. Second and nine. Ekmanis has got a man open. It's his tight end, Brevin Span Ford. That edge. Here's Brevin Ford, fan, span, fan. Brevin Span Ford will be back this half for Wisconsin. Brevin Span Ford, the tight end to the top. And he makes the catch. Kelly Akmanis. Again to Brevin Span Ford. 2019, five carries, 39 yards, and it was Wisconsin who did it. Under pressure, hit as he throws, but Brevin Span Ford again with another big catch. And they're going to throw a flag yeah, move. from the red zone. What a throw. Again, Span Ford. And Kaliak Manis in the gun. Will throw it on first down. And there's the big tight end, Roddy. But when you look at, at the career that he's built, oh. if you want a guy to come in and win a game for you, he's the guy. Little spin, pirouette, Span Ford, another catch. Second grab of the ball game. For Brevin Span Ford. 
He tried to throw it in order to run it later in the game. First down and 10 at the 19-yard line. Kaliak Manis will let it fly on first down, and it's caught. Only 142 yards of total offense for Minnesota. Kaliak Manis over the middle, and caught. Robinson has been ejected from this game. Now, you know exactly how I feel, Gus. I hate the ejection. Valley McManus underneath to the 21, maybe the 22 yard line. Nebraska showing blitz. Valley McManus over the middle, and he has his man, Spanford. He continues to move and will finally plop down. First down at the 49. One timeout left. Valley McManus to Spanford. Western Michigan transfer, former MAC rival and division rival of these guys. Play fake, Kaliak Manis, a contested catch for Spanford. Wow. As impressive as a three yard gain as you're going to see. Kaliak Manis, short pass play to Spanford. A gain of four. Elise, you back? Third and 15, Brevin Span Ford, the tight end. It brought down a couple of yards shy of the line to gain. Needed the 35, got as far as about the 33. Before transferring to Michigan State, second sack for the Spartans so far today. A loss of nine. Kelly Mattis over the middle, and that is caught. Brevin Span Ford, maybe his biggest catch of the year on the defense it's first down but this that that's what they've been waiting for for Brevin Smith with Evans on the option after his touchdown to Elijah Spencer on the first drive wide open and Kaliak Manis on target to Brevin Span Ford who broke out last week third and ten for Kaliak Manis and a quick pop Span Ford is down short of the line to gain with Harper up. Down below, it's three on three. There, it's wide open. And it's Span Ford in man coverage, slipping away. Span Ford looking for the edge, and he trucks to the goal line. Don't see the arm, did his touchdown. Brevin Span Ford in for six. Watch this. Okay, so now there's three on three, right? You got to go inside, outside, high, and just play a zone to start, and then take your man. Right here is an excellent effort. As you said, clearly the best on the outside for Minnesota. Kayak Manis, play action, another completion. Heading towards the end zone is his big tight end. It's Span Ford. Minnesota strikes first. But it's Span Ford, the big man. He's the tight end. They go play action. This Purdue defense reacts to the run. Nobody defends Span Ford. Kaliak Manis on the money as they need to be over the course of this season. Kaliak Manis, another completion, big tight end. Another grab for Brevin Span Ford. He runs into Sanusi Kane. So See if Kaliak Manis can get it going. Needs a lot of offense in this fourth quarter. Kaliak Manis, completion to his tight end Span Ford. You got to do it. You just got to give them a chance. You got to trust them. And there wasn't a lot of reason to trust them at that time. Completion here to his tight end. This is Span Ford continue. Third and seven. Kaliak Manis finds his tight end. Depend on the spot, they'll give it to him. To pass again, ball fake. Avoids one. How does he stay on his feet? Finally. Finds Span Ford for a gain of five. 